right day two. Um, I, worth noting, I've had no responses from any of the emails I've sent out to Egotristy to charge your car. Um, who else did I write to? Several other people. I wrote to Nissan about doing this trip. Um, I've had no responses now. Give it a couple more days. But it has crossed my mind. I would imagine they're not going to be that keen on even showing any slight interest in this because high probability it's going to fall flat on its face. Um, you know, it's it, it probably ain't going to happen to be honest. But I, I'm up for it to see what actually does happen. That's really my main motivation is I wonder what will happen if you try and do a thousand miles in a day. Um, so that's that's the motivation for it. Um, but of course, it's very, very risky and it's fraught with the huge possibility that it won't work in terms of the fact that Ecotricity's chargers are notorious at the moment for just not working properly. Um, they got a fix coming in, that's just fine, but it's not now. It's going to be June, so a month's time to a month and a half. So they're not really wanting to put their name to it or even show any support whatsoever. Uh, charge your car. They seem to be up there charging stations, but then I haven't had a response from them, so don't know. Um, and I'm not responsible this time. So I'll, I'll see today. It's only it's only been 24 hours since I emailed him. So that's early days. But in this modern world, you sort of expect to, to get a response, don't you, within the day kind of thing. We'll see if I get a response today. Uh, it may be triggered by the fact that I've uploaded my first daily blog. Not that I've got many watchers, but I've tagged them into it. So it'll be interesting to see through the social channels whether or not I now get a response. And obviously I'll let you know if I do today. If I don't, and it's all gone quiet, we shall see. Now, Ecotristia have written to, they're local to us, their head office, or their old head office, I can't quite work it out now because they got so massive. They used to be in Stroud, they've still got an office in Stroud, don't know if it's their head office. And that's only, it's only 15 miles away. So I've offered to go and pop along and see them to have a chat. Um, but as of yet, no response. Okay, what a day it's been. Um, a lot of feedback from my blog post from yesterday. I've had loads of people wishing me luck and thinking it's quite an adventure. I've also had a few negatives um, and I've also had a lot of constructive criticism and a lot of constructive comments. Um, of those, some very helpful comments to do with the fact that the Zap map is probably inaccurate when it mentions rapid charges in the northern part of Scotland mainly um, and a link to Transport Evolves article on what the Scottish or what the government did or what the government lent and whatever the organisation was called did with the £150,000 they had to invest in a rapid charge system. Um, long story short it never materialised and it's just slow charges not really rapid charges so the route is going to have to change taking those comments on board um, the route is going to change um, to Land's End, from Land's End, to Edinburgh, to London. That is the trip, which means I need to travel down to Land's End the day before, sleep over, leave in the morning, and commence the trip. Um, the change of the destination is kind of irrelevant, because it's to do with how many miles I can do in a day. That is the challenge. Um, I've had some people point out to me that really realistically the maximum number of charges you can have is 10 before the battery gets to a critical level i.e. the red zone which you do not want to be entering um, if it gets to that stage then I just stop until it cools right down if that takes six hours it takes six hours and that's, that's as far as I've got basically so however, I, however far I get in 24 hours is the basically is the benchmark that says what you can do in a Gen 2 Leaf, uh, travelling on main roads, i.e. motorways, and using solely rapid charges. Um, been pointed to some guys in the Netherlands who've done, I think, 779 miles in 24 hours. So that's quite a high target. They did a circle around um, the Netherlands, as far as I know, having a brief look at it. Um, not sure what the maximum distance in the UK no one's given me any links to anyone who's done any significant mileage. I mean, you're talking 500 miles-ish. Um, 
within a 24 hour period it seems to be right about that five or six hundred miles um i mean the most i think i've done is probably 450 500 in one day um so we'll see i mean i've done five i've done more in that rapid charge actually on the way down to Exmouth, i think i used five rapid charges in one trip i stayed there for approximately three hours and then i traveled back up and might be four hours i stayed there for i use rapid charges on about so three so five and three so this is going to be much more intensive long trip um so whatever happens happens as i said before if it falls flat on its face and it's 100 miles 400 miles 500 miles 700 miles who knows let's see that's part of the adventure so it's going to change um, the map is now on the screen as you can see from this map i'm going to travel start my journey at land's end travel to cnc taxis they got a privately owned charge point and then i'm going to travel to plymouth which isn't um really on the main road it's off route this is a nissan dealer so i've got to be there within the opening times and then i'm going to travel to the first of the main load of rapid charges basically which is exeter and go on up all the way up to edinburgh and then down to london goodness knows what problems i'll come across but we will find out and here is the link to the transport evolved article about the scottish i don't want to say farce but mess up don't know which other way to put it really of the charge points being slow chargers which have been installed not rapids which has kind of ruined any travel for ev drivers um in north scotland it's a real shame for locals that live there and for people who want to go in when well, I did. I wanted to go up there and enjoy the the scenery and the travel through Scotland. It's not a place I visit often. I've been in, done the trip that I'm doing now, apart from going up to Edinburgh afterwards. I've been down and back to Cornwall many a time. So that is the that's what's happened so far. I'm only in day two. I would have thought the next one, next blog I do, will be me just doing it. I don't need to wait for the charger car to come. That was a waste of 20 quid, really. Um, it's always handy to have another card, I suppose. don't need to wait for that to come, so I can just use my charge card all the way down. And it's going to involve being there and staying off early in the morning from my start point. I'm tired now. And uh, travelling back up. So I will try that. I say lots and lots of comments have been inundated with messages and comments on the video as well um, tweets and all sorts and private messages so we shall see i spoke to mark at uh, cnc taxis he let me know that there would be a charge for charging there which is perfectly acceptable i can't see why they wouldn't charge because basically if you plug your car in there they run a taxi firm with Nissan, the fleet of Nissan Leafs, they've got some diesels as well, but Nissan Leafs, if you plug in there, you're stopping one of their taxis from charging. So if I sit there for 30, 40 minutes charging up, why wouldn't I be charged? I'm not even charged a premium. I mean, I'm charged, if you start off very, very low, you charge eight quid, which some of that's electric, and the rest is just inconvenience. And the fact that you've got the convenience of using one of his charges, if you didn't have him there, there would be no rapid charge. You couldn't get to Land's End in a day. Not in mine, because I've got a 3.3 kilowatt on board, so I'd have to charge four or five hours in an Asda or something, and then go on down. So, um, fair play, I'm happy with that, that's fine. Um, and there we go, so he's, he's pretty informative. Obviously he knows quite a lot about low miles per hour, but and heavy use of Leafs, so it was quite good to have a chat. Hi Mark, if you're watching. Um, yeah, I shall see you guys at some point on my journey, at least twice, um, and probably in the future as well. So we're good to see how that goes. Obviously film that charge port and charge point as well. Um, but there we go. That's day two, and I shall catch you guys later.